I've released some isopods in here. You can see them. They are beginning to disperse right there. I find the isopods do a very good job of getting rid of fungus and um, also any kind of waste that the tarantula might produce like the bolus from eating or pieces of, of uh, prey items that have not been consumed. My piece of Lotharia subfosca highland has been in this container for the last several months and has been growing and I feel like it's time to give it a bigger nicer home. You can see it's made some little tunnels down at the bottom of this cork bark. Um, these typically will set up homes in the base of trees when they're small. But we'll see where this little one chooses to go once uh, it's rehomed. Now that I've got uh, the lid off the enclosure, I have it propped up here against the cork bark. Um, and I know that the little one's right in here. webbing out here and you can see there's the little pokey. I'm not going to be too happy about coming out. This has been its home for a while. So, Come my little guy. Alright, so we're under the cork bark now. It really just wants to uh, bury itself. If I can get him to just walk up the cork bark, that will be perfect. Okay. And take the cork bark out as well. Uh, this one is very shy. With piece of Lotharia or any any tarantula species that you hear maybe on the Congress side, you can never be too sure. Let's see what we got here. There's the little one right down on the bottom. Come on, there you go. Let's go out. Right out the top. Come on. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to remove the old enclosure. I think I'm just going to leave the plant out of there. There's enough plants in here. Um, this piece of cork bark over here is for my piece of Lotharia vitata. It also has an enclosure just like this one, which uh, will be updated. Uh, probably the beginning of this next month, if not sooner. So let's go in here and take a look at this little one, see where it's at. Alright, there we see a little bum. Right here. There we go. In our new home. Gorgeous.